and Channel 3. I'm Danae. Sounds like January is going to be a fun, filled month with lots of excitement. Our maids team has been sweeping through the competition with our boys team following close behind. For more on sports, we're sending it over to Isaac and Grant for sports. The sponsor of today's newscast, Ike So Clean. Get the stains out of everything. Now, on to sports. I'm Grant. I'm Isaac. The 9-0 maids remained hot as they went 2-0 in the holiday tournament with a 52-29 win against Moorfield and a 48-41 win against Southern Gary. They also picked up a road win against Preston on January 4th, 68-47. The girls are led by high-powered offense and an in-your-face style defense as they look to stay hot as they travel to Lincoln on January 6th, home against RCB on January 11th, at Grafton on January 13th, at Bridgeport on January 18th, at Elkins on January 25th, and finally the maids are back home against East Fairmont on January 27th. The Lewis County Minutemen boys went 2-0 in the holiday tournament, winning 70-53 against Magnolia and 76-39 against Clay. January 3rd, the boys will play Preston at home. The boys played Preston at home and picked up the dub 62-38. Upcoming games, boys play January 5th at home against Lincoln. Then they go on to play at RCB January 10th. Then we play Grafton at home. We're going to have a great home game against the Bridgeport Indians. January 19th, we will have to go to Nicholas County. January 24th, we will have a home game against Elkins. We play East Fairmont away January 26th. Best of luck to them. Ben Putnam. Sophomore leads the team in points, rebounds, steals, and blocks. Last Friday at the Fairmont Senior Armory, the wrestling team went 3-2. and two. In that meet, Trenton Bush went 5-0, and oh. Kevin Parsons went 3-0, and oh. and the team record is now 14-2. and two. Now on to Owen, Lily, and Ferg with the Q&A. Q&A. This is our New Year's q and I'm here with Abigail. And Abigail, what is your New Year's resolution? Going to the beach. Thank you. Garrett. And Garrett, what is the most embarrassing thing that happened to you this past year? Uh, I was benching and weightlifting. I came down, I went to go up, and I farted and dropped the weight on me. Thank you. Here with Carter Holden. And Carter, what are three words to describe your 2022? Stressful, dreary, and relaxing. Thank you. I'm here with Mr. Long. And Mr. Long, what is your New Year's resolution? Um, I'm trying to do a 40 day sugar and processed food fast. Awesome. Thank you. Here with Brady Smith. And Brady, what are three words to describe your 2022? Tiring, eventful, fun. Awesome. Thank you. I'm here with Aiden Anderson. And Aiden, what is your New Year's resolution? To get bigger muscles and to gain weight. Nice. I'm here with Carrie. And Carrie, what is your favorite memory from 2022? Um, probably becoming a regional champion my senior year. Awesome. Thank you. Sounds like everyone has some good New Year's resolutions. Speaking of everyone, Kat, what's your New Year's resolution? Well, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> you better get on that. Mine is to learn more about our band. Jaina, I know how you can do that. Really? Yeah. And, and you, you can, can too. too! I'm Brooke. I'm Dakota. Uh, on January 16th, we get out of school for Martin Luther King Day. So here is some information about Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. King was born on January 15, 1929, and was assassinated on April 4, 1968. He was married to Corietta Scott King, who was born on April 27, 1927, and died on January 30, 2006. They married in 1953 until his assassination in 1968. They had four children together, and with, with their three youngest still alive. Martin Luther King Jr. was an American Baptist minister and act activist and a very prominent leader in the Civil Rights Movement, starting in 1955 until his assassination in 1968. The Civil Rights Movement achieved multiple accomplishments under King's lead, including the Civil Rights Act in 1964 and the Voting Rights Act in 1965. In 1957, he founded the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, or the SCLC, and in 1964, he won the Nobel Peace Prize. King was, in, King was and still is a very influential person in history, most well known for his I Have a Dream speech in 1963. Now on to Braden and Ryder with weather. From the 1st to the 8th, it was unseasonably warm. But this week, from 9 to the 15th, it shouldn't get above 61 degrees. And in our later days of the week, during Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, it is actually supposed to rain. From 16th through 21st, it will be raining with a high of 50 and a low of 28. 
The last week of January, we will be expecting the snow with a high of 44 and a low of 20. Sounds like the weather is going to be dreary, but that won't dampen our spirits. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. But for now, stay classy, Lewis County.